I mentioned earlier that a food web differs from a food chain and that it's much more elaborate and it's more of like a puzzle and where each animal or plant fits in that puzzle differs. And so if you look right here, you can see that an animal like a crab doesn't really fall in the one category. As you can see, he's going to eat these snails, he's going to eat these oysters. He's also going to hunt and catch these live mummy chugs, which are a type of fish. If there's decomposing plant matter, he might eat that as well. So where does he fit in? Is he a primary consumer? Is he a secondary consumer? It's hard to say, and it might differ from day to day which niche he's filling in our food web. Some animals, like bluefish, are usually going to fall into the same category because they are primarily predators. And so they're going to be eating other animals like shrimp and fish. As you can see, as with any food web, the base of it is going to be phytoplankton, which get their energy from the sun directly. The other organisms that are getting their energy from the sun are, of course, plants that live on land, like grass and trees. Get their energy from the sun in order to produce oxygen through the process called photosynthesis. After that, as I described earlier, you'll have your primary consumers, like your zooplankton, that eat that phytoplankton. After that comes your secondary consumers. Those are going to be things like these little fish that are going to eat the zooplankton. Then you'll have things like your tertiary consumers, like this bluefish, and this osprey. Now this osprey is above the bluefish because he might in fact eat the bluefish, making him, in this instance, a quaternary consumer.